You know, a lot of times in the black community, we don't discuss people who have mental illness or uh, people who suffer from certain mental trauma from past issues in their lives. You know, a lot of times we're told to, oh, just pray or, you know, oh, you know, that quote unquote nigga crazy or, you know, et cetera, et cetera. The things that we hear, um, you know, in and out of our community. And, you know, it's came out that uh, Mia Campbell, if you guys are not familiar with her. Uh, she was a sister that was on In the House back in the 90s. A show with, um, uh, what's her name? Debbie Allen, LL Cool J, uh, Fonzo Barrera, the cat that was on um, Fresh Prince. You know, it was a pretty decent show. It wasn't one of my favorite joints, but it was, it was a good show. And, you know, very attractive sister. You know, she was in a lot of the music videos back in the 90s. But I guess, you know, when, you know, words start slowing up, which is what happens to a lot of people who are in the entertainment industry, when words start slowing up or uh, you get blackballed from the, in the entertainment industry, et cetera, et cetera, people a lot of times don't know how to cope with that. You know, it's almost a drug of being famous. And that's why, you know, I've always said, you know, being someone who works within the music industry and has dealt with certain entertainers. Being famous is not for everybody. You know, everybody can't contain it. And it really just depends on the person you were before you got into the game. You know, it determines how you kind of interact and are able to adapt in and outside of the industry. But, you know, it's it's been a lot of reports that, you know, she was hanging out with wrong the wrong type of guys. You know, she's been hooked on drugs. And there was one point... I believe maybe about three, four years ago where she had got clean. You know, she had gained her weight back, um, you know, was taking care of her child, et cetera, et cetera. But recently it's came out that, you know, she's fell to the wayside again and, you know, she's back on the narcotics. Now, Mia Campbell does suffer from uh, bipolar. You know, I've heard that, you know, she hasn't been taking her medicine or whatever. So a lot of times when you suffer from that type of illness, when you don't take your medicine, you start acting belligerent you know you, you're very hostile you don't really want to interact with anybody because of the way you're feeling inside and you know it's just sad to see that you know the sister with all that talent and you know all the um gifts she was blessed with including you know the way she looks she wasn't able to you know shake and bake and you know revamp her career so, you know, it's been videos out here. I think it was a video the other day where some, you know, some bullshit local rapper called her at a gas station and he video recorded her, basically exploiting her. And she was asking for crack, you know. Now, here in 2017, you know, are there crackheads out here? Yes, but you don't really find people walking up to random people, you know, looking for crack because that, first of all, it, it, it's it's known even to the crackheads now that, you know, it really just destroys you from the inside out. All drugs do, but crack is just, I mean, we saw what that did to the black community in the 80s and, and the 90s. You know, crack is just something that, um, it, it, it really messes you up. You know, it's one of the more... Um, dangerous drugs out there but you know he caught her at a gas station was exploring her you know basically mocking her and she was asking for the guy for crack and it got out to the to the media got out to the public uh, a lot of people were you know trying to blame LL Cool J for this saying oh well you know why isn't LL Cool J helping her out or you know blah 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 and here's the thing why you know I, I don't think we should be mad at LL Cool J yeah, people can, you know, reach out and try to help somebody. But at the end of the day, when you go to work every day, you might leave that company and go get a promotion or go just work at a completely different place. Are you checking up, you know, every day on everybody that you work with that is your previous employer? No. So I don't feel like we should put those same type of um, responsibilities on LL Cool J and as far as a, a grown ass woman. Now, if anything, I think her family should, you know, get a hold of her. Those who might be extremely close to her, you know, pull it to the side, you know, whether it's getting her help, whether it's having her live with them or whatever, you know, trying to get her out there on some auditions, clean her up. Those are the people who should be really involved in her life. I don't think that, you know, we should fault LL Cool J just because he's the big name out there and blame him for not helping Mia Campbell. But you got people out here who do that when they they don't even help out the people in their immediate family, but they'll put all these responsibilities on celebrities. 
So, you know, I mean, it, it's just wild how the, the public, uh, you know, responds to certain things. But, you know, I wanted to make this video because I feel like that, you know, when we, when we see people in our community who um, are suffering from, you know, drug abuse or mental illness, it's important that we get those people help. You know, and I don't want to sound like, you know, an infra commercial out here or anything like that, but it's important because a lot of times we brush it under the rug because, you know, the black woman and the black man is supposed to be so strong and we can get through anything with prayer. And that's not always the case. You know, a lot of us, you know, we, we do need help. You know, I think some of us uh, suffer from post-traumatic slavery. You know, that, that's been thrown out there. You know, racism. We deal with racism day in and day out. You don't think that that takes a, you know, a, a, a mental toll on us when we got to go into work every day and we got to deal with racism. Or when we get off from work, you know, you, you might get pulled over by the cops or get your ass beat or lose your life for a simple traffic violation. You know, these are the stresses that um, us as black Americans go through. And I think that's important that we do seek mental health, whether it's talking to um, a therapist, um, you know, receiving medication, uh, people who are within our family or actually give a damn about us, you know, take help from those people. And the reason why I say take help is because it was a recent video that came out with Mia Campbell where she didn't want any help from L.O. Kuja. She basically said, you know, I don't want any help. You know, basically, fuck all. That is so many words. That's basically what she said. And, you know, it's because of the mental illness. It's because when you're stuck in that type of place in your life, dealing with bipolarness, dealing with, you know, drug abuse, a lot of times it's scary to get help. It's scary to let people inside of your life because you're more familiar with abusing yourself. And that's why I say, you know, it's important that we help each other. You know, don't don't just, you know, go by people and, and laugh at them and say, look at that crackhead over there. You know, don't 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 do that because those are, are, are black Americans, too. And I don't feel like their life should be depreciated because, you know, they have a drug issue or because, you know, they, they, they have mental issues. It's important that we get these people help. Because if we don't care about each other, even some of the people who, you know, um, might not, not might not be the best benefit to our community. If we don't take care of them, and sometimes, you know, taking care of them might be dismissing them from our community. But sometimes that's not the case. That's not the answer. Sometimes these people do need help. So, you know, that's why I wanted to come out here and make this video because I feel like, you know, mental illness and drug abuse a lot of times within the black community is swept under the rug. And it's just, you know, another tool for these people who practice white supremacy to come in and lock these people up. Because it's like your people don't give a damn about you. Your family don't care about you. You don't have the ability or the mental capacity at this moment to care about yourself. So we're going to book you on something, lock you inside a new uh, plantation and make some money off you. So, you know, let, let, let's help out, you know, our brothers and sisters, those who are, you know, worth being helped out, those who want to be helped out, but just can't find the strength to ask for help. We really got to come again and start helping out each other. But I'm out, y'all. Peace.